Hey guys, I'm Josh McCullum. I'm an osteopath and personal trainer, and today I'd just like to welcome you to my channel, Safe Hands Health Fitness and Rehabilitation, the Stability, Alignment and Flexibility Equation. I hope you find the videos useful and informative. If you do, please do feel free to share them with friends, family who may be suffering with further problems as well. Um, if there are any specific requests that you have, if you would like any information, please do just let me know via private message or via comments. So the next series of stretches we're going to be doing is going to be stretching the quadrats on the the quadrat lumborum is a big muscle that goes from the base of the ribs into the upper tip of your pelvis there. And this muscle's two main functions are A to bend you to the side if it's just one side contracting. So this would be my right side contracting, pulling me to the right. And if the two work together, because you've got one on this side of your spine and one on that side, then you find it brings you backwards. The quadrat lumborum is also involved in holding your rib cage down as you're breathing in. So this is allowing more air into your lungs. So then as you breathe, it's just a bit more effective. The main reason I find that people seem to come in where they, where they are having this sinus through there, same reasons I've noticed with myself, is that if I'm sat in the car, I'm always leaning onto one side. I've got the centre console just on this left hand side, so I very slightly lean there. And this is just a force of habit. This is something for you to have a look at and see if you do yourself. If you do lay on one side, then you do find that because your pelvis is hitched on one side, one side of that muscle is going to become chronically tight. Other reasons as well is if you are constantly in a kind of slouch position, you may find that this muscle becomes a little bit strained. If you are constantly arching backwards, if you do have a strong lordotic curve here, you can find this muscle can become chronically tight because it's working as a postural muscle rather than a, a physical movement muscle, which it's supposed to be. So first stretch for this one, really nice and easy. If you're stretching the right side, you're going to take your right leg behind your left leg. You're then going to take your right arm above your head. And from there, you're just going to lean yourself over to this left hand side until you just get a pull coming down the side here. Once you've got that stretch, you're going to hold it for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, take a nice deep breath in. As you breathe back out, just very gently lean a little bit further, just to the next point of stretch. And you're then going to repeat that three times in total. At the end, just bring yourself up nice and gently again and just return your feet to normal. You can do this on both sides as well. If you do feel like you are stiff on both sides, you will find one side is more than likely tighter than the other. If you do have limited shoulder mobility, then obviously do be careful. Make sure you just don't take it any further than you need to. Actually, you will find even if you have got things like wear and tear in the shoulder and you can just get to there, just by doing the leaning motion is going to create that stretch anyway. This is going to be also in the standard position. Is you need a door frame ideally. If again, if you're stretching the right hand side, you're going to pop the left side in front of your right. But this time, when you're doing it, you're going to have your right foot planted against the wall. You're then going to take your left foot further away from you. You're going to pop your right arm above your head and just onto the door frame, and then you're going to lean your body away from the door frame. So you're trying to create a bigger space between your door frame and your body. So you're going to get to the point where you get a stretch. If you find it stretching more in this point, what you can do is bring your hands a bit closer together. Once you've got the stretch, you're going to hold it for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, take a nice deep breath in. As you breathe back out, you're then going to lean your body weight a little bit further away again and just increase that stretch ever so slightly. You're going to do this three times in total, so do the stretch 30 seconds, deep breath in, as you breathe out, do it again. After another 30 seconds, deep breath in, breathe out, lean a little bit further, and repeat it again. These are the two big ones for the QR muscle when you're standing. There is also another one that you can do for your QR muscle whilst you're seated and whilst you're laid down. So if you do find that these aren't effective for you, you can then search for the other two on my YouTube channel. Thank you.